Hey guys, Steph here, and today's video is a welcome message for everyone who has joined our seven day chakra and sugar detox. So today's video is a welcome message to all of you that are joining, and if you haven't joined, it's not too late. We officially start tomorrow, and Sunday is the perfect time to set up for your cleanse. So what you do today will determine how you're gonna do on the cleanse. Sunday setup's amazing regardless if you're doing this cleanse or not. It's a great time to kind of gather yourself, cleanse your environment, get ready for the week, and get ready for any changes that you're making. So there's three reasons why we might have sugar cravings. One of them would be deficiencies. Number two is habitual. So say you're in the habit of eating a cookie after dinner or you're in the habit of going out for an afternoon coffee and uh, treat. So the second reason for cravings is habitual. The third is actually hormonal. Often it's because we're jacked up on cortisol. So that can throw your sex hormones off, that can throw everything off. So um, no matter what it is hormonally, it's always beneficial to decrease the stress. We all know this, stress kills. So that's the third reason and the third thing we're working on with this cleanse. So whether you have signed up or not, join us for the next seven days to de-stress because a portion of this is actually breathing and yoga. So that's what I'm going to be coming on live with. So again, quick recap, what we do in the seven day detox and it's not too late to join. It's 129 and you get um, the seven day process. So it's today's Sunday setup for everybody who is starting tomorrow. And what we do today is we really set things up so it's super easy. My branding is all about let's make this so easy so that it's impossible to fail. So we have a scale of no matter where you're at, no matter if you are totally new to healthy living, if you've been doing it for years, we have a scale. So you can we, you can start wherever you're at. And the beautiful thing is you can do this program over and over again and get bigger and better results as you adjust, as your habits adjust, as your um, cleansing techniques adjust. So first kind of entry level in is just adding one thing in. So with the deficiencies, right, we're adding in multi-minerals, multivitamins, um, antioxidants, probiotics, because deficiencies can come from a couple reasons. If you aren't consuming enough nutrients, one. Two would be if your gut isn't absorbing and assimilating properly. So that's why I love and always promote probiotics is to really reset the gut lining. So with this uh, detox, this cleanse, you actually get a round of probiotics. Um, another reason why you could have deficiencies would be if the soil is depleted. So maybe you are eating a bunch of fruits and vegetables, but you're not getting the right minerals because our farming techniques are different. So that's why I'm huge on multi-mineral 100% of the time. Um, I tried for years to get all of my nutrients through food. I was eating all organic, um, juicing, and I still didn't feel great. So that's one thing with deficiencies and then fixing the gut so that we're actually absorbing things properly. Number two is the habitual. So if your cravings are coming from ha habits, so you're in the habit of eating potato chips in the evening, you're in the habit of having cookies after dessert, you're in the habit of going for afternoon coffee or fancy frappuccino um, with your work buddies. The second reason for cravings is habitual, so we're going to uh, fix that as well. And then the third is hormonal, so de-stressing with breath work, with yoga, and again, this doesn't have to be complicated. This can be 60 seconds a day, this can be five minutes, or a full hour. The beautiful thing about jumping into the rest and digest state is you can do it simply at your desk by closing your eyes and focusing on the breath. So if you get overwhelmed on this cleanse, um, when in doubt, come back to the breath, come back to drinking water, and you've got this all in your welcome email. So again, whatever stage you're at, if you are joining us and you're completely new and you don't want to cook and reading the cookbook actually stresses you out, don't do it. Either purchase your meals from somebody, convince a friend or your spouse to cook for you, or purchase our meal replacements because sometimes we just need a break and if you're busy, if you're traveling, if you want to actually give your digestion a break, sometimes it's good to give the digestion a break because it works so hard for us all of the time. So that's why I've given the option to get your complete meal replacements and then you're just in charge of getting snacks. So different options. If you are already in the habit of awesome lunches, 
awesome dinners, then absolutely stick with those and just add in the supplements, the probiotics, and maybe a shake or two a day. Because you all know me, I'm all about shakes every damn day. Um, so what we do is we add things in. We don't focus on what we're doing wrong, we focus on what we can do to feel good. So an example would be right now, if you decided for a week, okay, I'm gonna have a shake every day, it gives your mind something to focus on. All right, I'm gonna take my probiotics before bed. Again, you're focusing on what you're going to do instead of worrying about what you're not gonna do. With the yoga, th with the yoga routines that we're doing, we're actually layering the chakra system. So if you think uh, the word chakra, like what does that mean? You don't even have to worry about it. All that it means is we're balancing the system. So it's seven days, there's seven chakras. We're starting tomorrow and I'm gonna be doing the live yoga videos public. So even if you haven't joined us for the cleanse, join us for the yoga portion because everybody can uh, benefit from a little yoga. And if that's overwhelming, again, if all you did was take your supplements, you're possibly correcting your cravings if yours, your problem is deficiencies. Um, habitual, if you wanna add in this yoga routine when you know that you can't be trusted with the cupboard, maybe that's after dinner, maybe that's on your lunch break, you're, um, maybe for a week you wanna go close your office door and do this yoga routine and drink a smoothie or a green tea instead of going out for coffee. Um, it's all, life is an experiment, so it's all just about dis, um, trying new things and seeing what works for your body because we're all different, we have all different lives, and that's the habitual fix is we're actually going to incorporate these healthy habits, one of them specifically going to be yoga. And then the third, which is hormonal. If your cortisol is ripping through your body, which a lot of us are, and you're never getting into that parasympathetic state, that rest and digest, you're gonna have all sorts of cravings. If you don't sleep properly, the hormone leptin, which regulates our hunger, that's not released properly. So even if you are sleeping eight hour, eight hour nights, but you're waking up and not feeling rested, then maybe you're not actually getting into that deep REM sleep. So incorporating this yoga routine right before bed is gonna help like crazy. Not overwhelming, the yoga routine that we're gonna be doing each day is um, there's about, four to five poses for each chakra to ground each chakra. I'm gonna show you each pose so you can go through them in five minutes if that's all you have. If you have an hour, you can set a timer and do each pose for five to 10 minutes and really get into the meditative state. So what we're doing on Sunday, which is today, we officially start tomorrow with the first chakra, the first yoga routine, the nutrition program, is set yourself up for success. So you can set yourself up with a little area that you're gonna go and meditate or do yoga in every day. If you don't have that, no worries. Or if you're gonna be doing this on the fly, grab your yoga mat or um, a yoga cushion, a pillow. And the cool thing about this is, you know when you buy new running shoes, it kind of motivates you. So say you have your cushion, that's gonna motivate you to sit on it or your yoga mat, that's gonna motivate you to do the yoga routine every day. So that's, um, that's what's really cool about the props, is it kind of connects you and gives you um, a home for this practice if you don't have um, a room in your house that you can dedicate or if you're gonna be doing this on the fly, maybe you're traveling, maybe you're at work. Um, it just gives you a little bit of a home. Um, you can grab a sarong or a, a blanket because when you get into this symp parasympathetic state, your body actually cools down. So much like if you go for reflexology or go for a massage or at the end of a yoga class, your body's going to get colder. So wear layers, grab a blanket, um, and then the kitchen portion <clears throat> to set yourself up for success. Tell your, <clears throat> tell your housemates, tell your workmates what you're doing so that they can either jump on board or respect what you're doing. So they're not gonna be bringing you chocolates to your desk unless they're meanies. Um, same with your spouse. They know, okay, I'm not gonna eat pizza at home. I'm probably just gonna eat it on my way home. If you can get your housemates, your, your roommates, your coworkers on board, much easier um, to do this. So all of your junk food, all of the stuff that you don't wanna be eating on this, Put it in a cupboard, lock it away, throw it in the garbage if you have to, and pour soap over it. <laughs> do what you gotta do to make it easy for yourself. Um, and then overload your fridge with amazing good food because we eat what's in front of us. So when you're starving, that's why we set you up with the meal replacements. Or when you're making dinner and you're super hungry, you can have that shake as you're making dinner so that you're not tempted. Um, 
So you're overloading your fridge with beautiful, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. We have your grocery list and your welcome email. Don't get overwhelmed with this. If you don't feel like doing the food part of this or you are overwhelmed already or you are super busy, don't do it. Don't even look at the cookbook. Don't even look at the food portion. As long as you add something in this week from the program, you're doing your job. And you have all sorts of other weeks to add more stuff in. So the whole point of this is to de-stress. So if anything that you look at stresses you out, put it aside and go back to the basics. The breath, water, your supplements, probiotics before bed, you're doing your job. And so if you're adding in this yoga routine, and what that's going to do is it's going to hit on the third reason why often we have cravings, which is this cortisol ripping through our body. Um, our hormones could be messed up. So that's what this is doing. We're going to be doing different poses each day. So tomorrow is the root chakra day one. And this is, if you have anything red, you can wear the color red. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, and you can read up on it in your um, welcome book. I'll show you, um, for those of you who don't know what the chakras are, I'll just show you a picture. So this would be all the chakras. So it's seven days and we're working through each chakra. So see at the bottom there, the red one, that will be day one. And we're working our way up through the week, Monday to Friday, we're incorporating the food portion. And then Saturday, Sunday, we're really just grounding back down, uh, working through the last two chakras and not worrying about the food stuff because I know food can get super stressful. And the last thing we want to do is stress you out. We want to overload you with love, self-love, rest and digest activities, easy to add in um, nutrition, because at the end of the day, no matter where your cravings are coming from, if it's from deficiencies, if it's from bad habits, if it's from hormones messed up or cortisol, we can help. Um, maybe you don't know which one it is. So by the end of the seven days, you might have a better idea of how you feel. And then the last two days, we work together to create a maintenance plan for you. So this is really just the, the opening the door, getting you in to the possibilities and then we're picking the things that work with your life because it's all about adding in small tweaks it's not about total overhauls because that often leads to us actually just jumping ship altogether and doing nothing so again those of you who are starting the seven day shocker and sugar detox if you feel stressed out over anything in the welcome workbook the recipes you're confused put it aside and connect because the whole point of this is to de-stress, is to make your life easier. Um, so if there's any stress going on, then put it aside, breathe, and let's get back to the basics. And for those of you who are advanced cleansers, you guys can do everything it says in the workbook. Plus you can add green juices if you want. Plus you can add 60 minutes of meditation. You can do 90 minute practice, whatever you want. Um, in the in your welcome workbook, you have the different layers um, and there's a section for advanced cleansing. Um, yeah, that's what's going on with me. So you'll be noticing I'll be coming live each day. So tomorrow we'll start with the root chakra with different poses to really balance and ground through the root chakra. And um, you'll notice in each of your emails each day, you're gonna notice w symptoms of m where you might be out of alignment so pay attention to those and we all need balancing everywhere but it might just be a certain chakra for you that's a little bit out of balance um, so pay attention to those uh, in the emails let us know in the support group how you're doing and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow right here thanks for watching guys